Hello guys, Mark aka The Drunk Bunny back with you again tonight for another new video. Um, gonna be a short video tonight because it is super late. It is 2.40 a.m. right now. Um, I just got back from an employee showing of The Incredibles 2 at the theater that I work at. Um, really awesome. Love, love, love the first Incredibles film. So this video is just gonna be my thoughts on The Incredibles 2. Uh, which is coming out uh, wide release tomorrow night will be the premiere night. And then, uh, of course, this weekend, um, which I work most of this weekend. So it's going to be kind of busy. But um, yeah, hugely excited for this film. It's been 14 years in the making. Um, I loved the first movie as a kid. Like, Incredibles and Cars were like two of my huge movies like growing up I loved those films and um yeah so I was very excited um it, it took three Cars movies before we finally got Incredibles 2 um and this film really lived up to my expectations big time uh they could have easily just floated by on a continuation of the characters and the action and the jokes and stuff but instead, they made a, a really, really good movie. They could have skated by on the name, um, but no, they made a really had a really good script and uh, was executed very well. The action scenes were fantastic for animation. Um, I loved like e even though it is voice acting, obviously that's a lot different from a live action film. I loved the performances in this film. Um, Bob Odenkirk plays, uh, I forget his name, Winston Dev Devereaux, something like that. Whatever the businessman's name is, the guy who Bob Odenkirk plays. I loved listening to Bob Odenkirk. Like, obviously, I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad, and I'm a pretty big fan, even bigger fan, I would say, of Better Call Saul. I really haven't uh, talked about those series much on my channel. I really should. Um, because I am, I love Better Call Saul. Like, B Breaking Bad was great, but Better Call Saul is, I would argue, better. Um, I love that series, and I love Bob Odenkirk, so I, I was very excited to hear him in this film. He gives an excellent performance. Like, um, obviously, everybody associates, uh, associates Bob Odenkirk with, uh, Saul Goodman, but you could definitely tell this was a unique character. It wasn't a Saul Goodman ripoff or anything. I didn't feel like I was listening to Saul Goodman the whole film. Um, really made that character his own. And I love that. Of course, you've got the family uh, back. Um, I, I forget the cast. I know Craig T. Nelson plays uh, Bob, a.k.a. Mr. Incredible. I'm not exactly sure who the rest of the voice cast is, and it was actually kind of bugging me throughout the film because I knew that I knew a couple of those voices, but I couldn't place them. So, you know me, I didn't really do research before I made this video. So, uh, I like to get my first impressions, like, pretty much right after I leave the theater. So, um, yeah, just to get a authentic, almost reaction-like review. I don't really consider myself a great reviewer, but I like, you know getting my thoughts. Anyway, um, yeah, loved the performances. Um, the writing was on point. Loved the villain in this film. Um, almost created another level in terms like the social commentary that I could pick up from this. Maybe this is just me being someone that likes to think about the world and think about like big concepts, but Technology plays a pretty big role in the in the fight in this film, uh, so to speak. And the villain was not only believable; um, there was excellent, excellent backstory for the villain to the point where you could feel like if you put yourself in the shoes of that villain, you could see why they made the decisions that they made um, in in the movie. It's not like they were evil just so the the movie would have a bad guy, which, I mean, it's a kid's movie. First and foremost, this movie's engineered to children. They could have easily just done a two-dimensional villain that's just a bad guy because the show needs a bad guy, but they didn't. They made a really good in-depth, or, yeah, in-depth villain 
that I could relate to. Um, and they brought up a lot of good, like, problems with our society and how our society interacts with technology. Um, and <laughs> I didn't quite expect that. I mean, the, the first movie was great, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so I don't quite remember the plot as well as I should. But yeah, I wasn't quite expecting the level of, um, of depth in this film and very, very impressed with it. I know it's been getting good reviews from what I've heard early on. Not surprising. Um, this is pretty much the first one was one of Pixar's best. So glad they made this film. Um, yeah, not much else I want to say about it. I loved every second of it. Um, I had thought of something that I would consider a flaw while I was watching the film, but now that I'm making this, I'm actually forgetting. It wasn't entirely perfect for me. There was something that bugged me about the film, but I can't remember. It, it's it's 2 o'clock in the morning, guys. Almost 3, so, you know, forgive me here, but I, I, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I wouldn't consider the film perfect, is what I'm trying to say. I had something specific that I wanted to talk about, but I forgot. Should have made notes or something, but you know me. I'm not really that well prepared. Um, so, yeah, I I loved the film. It wasn't quite perfect, which is why I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Um, seems like I've been giving a lot of films that rating lately. But, again, that's, that's kind of my go-to rating for a really, really good movie that just wasn't quite perfect. Um, so yeah, 4.5 out of 5 for Incredibles 2. Definitely go out and see it. Um, gonna get this video up very quickly, actually, because I saw a movie before it came out for the first time ever. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's nice. So yeah, go ahead and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for my future content. Um, more movie reviews coming soon. Uh, Blu-ray hunting. Um, Blu-ray collection video that I haven't filmed yet this summer. Um, I, I usually do an entire collection video every summer. So you've got that to look forward to. All kinds of stuff coming up on my channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm over 50 subscribers, which is crazy. So yeah, um, have an awesome night. Go see Incredibles 2. Bye.